Hey guys, welcome to my video. It's Cami J official, so let's start the show. My name is Cami. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get right to the video. All right, y'all. So I went to Sephora because Laura Mercier has released a brand new version of their setting powder. They now have a talk free version of their OG setting powder. And if you have ever been on YouTube and watched any makeup video, you already know the translucent setting powder basically had YouTube in a chokehold and honestly, I really like the powder. It worked so well for me in the old version. So I am low-key excited to test and try this out for you guys and let you know, is it worth getting this new talc-free setting powder? All right, so here is the new packaging for the new Laura Mercier talc-free setting powder. And the color that I decided to get is the translucent honey tone for the setting powder, which is my favorite of theirs. So let me open this up. And that is what the inside looks like. So this setting powder retails for $44 for 0.7 ounces. So yes, this is definitely what I would consider a higher end setting powder. So we are going to test this out and see if this is going to be worth the $44. And I did go looking for the travel size because I like travel size makeup a lot better than the full size makeup bottle. But unfortunately, they do not have this in the talc free version yet. So they say the highlights of this setting powder is that it's a loose powder formula. It contains hyaluronic acid. It gives you a matte finish. It's long wearing, it's fragrance free, and it's best for dry and combo normal skin. And that it has ultra blurring power. So my skin is already prepped. First, I am going to just add a little bit of tinted moisturizer to my face just to even that out. So for the tinted moisturizer, I'm just going to quickly throw on my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to use my MAC 24 hour studio concealer in the color NC50. So I'm going to take just a few swipes right here under the eye on each side. So let's blend this in with our damp beauty blender. All right, so our concealer is blended in. So now I'm going to take the setting powder on this side of my face. I'm going to use my regular technique with setting powder, which is basically just taking a little bit on the brush and then just gently patting it in. On this side of my face, I'm going to use my beauty blender and we are going to bake this side just so we can see a comparison. So you can know whether or not this is going to be good for baking or if it is just better for you to use a light touch with. So I'm just gonna take the powder like so, and just tap it, and this is the amount that came out. Actually, for the first go around, I'm going to use this amount on my brush to set the light side. All right, so this is how much I'm going to be using on this side. I'm just going to gently pat it in, and this is how I typically always set my makeup when I use setting powder. I just like to take a little bit like that and just gently push it in to the area in which I have the concealer already set down. All right, so this is a side with the light use of the setting powder. Guys, comment below and let me know what you think. Just looking at it here in the mirror in front of me, I feel like it looks really good. It looks really soft and I do see that blurring effect that the powder was talking about. So instantly, one of the differences I noticed between this and the old formula of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder is the fact that this doesn't come off as chalky on me and as dry as the original formula of the setting powder um, used to. So that is definitely one plus I am seeing like immediately off the break with this setting powder. So now it is beauty blender time. And with my beauty blender, I am going to bake, which I typically do not do again for your reference. So I'm just going to take that like so. Try to knock off some excess there. 
I am not an expert baker, y'all, so please, please don't judge my baking. This is how much came out on the Beauty Blender, and we are going to bake with this side. All right, so gonna press that into the area, right, and bring it up, because y'all know that's how people like to do it, pressing it in gently. As you can see, the color of the powder is a lot more prevalent. You can see that this is definitely very honey tone and it is definitely giving it that brightness. Um, but I also notice using this to bake, the powder does go on very smooth. It is not clumpy, it is not lumpy. It is definitely very finely milled. Um, I can say that and it looks like it's creating like a really nice smooth surface. It is not picking up any of my concealer. My concealer is still set pretty well there. It's not moving anything around and yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so here we have the typical way that I set the setting powder, right? Just lightly with the powder that side. And this is the side that has been baked. So as you can see, this side still has some brightness to it, right? It brightened up my concealer just a little bit. It just gave me a little bit more of a highlight on this side, but it still looks nice and soft. And you can see when you bake, it's definitely going to give you a lot more highlight, of course, than when you just lightly set it. But I'm going to brush this side off now that we've let it, you know, bake for a little bit and we're going to see how it looks after. So just taking my brush from earlier, I'm just going to gently move it around and remove any excess setting powder that is still, you know, there because I don't want to disturb the concealer, but I just want to get rid of any excess. All right, so I have wiped off the excess from the baked side. And guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm typically not a fan of baking. It, it doesn't look good on me the majority of the times I've tried it with a variety of setting powders, even with the former Laura Mercier setting powder, right? The original formula, I tried baking with that before and I did not like it. I promise you my under eye after I used to bake with that or try to bake with the original formula was so cakey. It was so cakey. You could see every fine line. It was just, she was just not cute. She was not cute. She was not looking good. But looking here, y'all, look how smooth, look how smooth this side looks. Like you would not believe that I put on that much setting powder. I'm honestly really pleasantly surprised this side looks this well. And if you do not know, my skin type is dry. So that is also a big reason why I tend to steer away from the whole baking thing because when you have dry skin already and you're adding a ton of powder to dry skin, sometimes no matter how well you moisturize, it can still give you like a harsh, cakey, thick look to your under eye. But this is looking pretty good to me here in the mirror but guys you comment below and let me know what you think about this side and how you honestly think it looks being baked i'm 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 like legit shocked at how good it looks i was not expecting this and so you can compare it to the side that has not been baked that has been gently set and you let me know which side do you prefer, which side do you think looks better. Honestly, I'm not mad at either side. I'm, I am going to say that I prefer the side that is lightly set over this side, only because it goes more with like my everyday kind of makeup look. Going for like a higher level of coverage, higher level of glam. I mean, I feel like this side could definitely, you know, work with like a full face of makeup. All right, so now I'm going to set my face with the Max Fix Plus Setting Spray, just so we can see how everything looks once it has been set and everything has dried down. So we are set and this is going to dry down. So everything has been set, it has dried down and this is the final product of the lightly set side with the Laura Mercier talc free setting powder in honey. And then this is the fully baked side where I let that powder sit there and I used a lot of it to set this area. Honestly, my thoughts about this are, this product is definitely worth buying, definitely worth giving a try for sure, and definitely, in my opinion, better than the original Laura Mercier setting powder formula. This one just feels so much more lightweight. It is not as drying as the previous formula. It is so much smoother than the other formula as well. I just feel like having this 
in your makeup collection can be nothing but a win for you so yeah guys it is a win for me i know 44 bucks for it is is a lot it is a higher end setting powder so i would definitely recommend that if you want to try the setting powder and it's you know out of your price range definitely wait for the minis of it to come out. But guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on that notification bell so that way you know whenever I post more videos. But as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.